Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I bought last week. But before we jump in today, I just want to share with you a find, something that I came across that is perfume related, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, I have kind of recently become um, re-obsessed with incense sticks because I've kind of quit burning candles for a while. I saw this awful, um, I saw this really awful TikTok video of a dog that was damaged from candles. Um, I guess he like had nerve damage and he was like having seizures and it was awful. And so because of that, I've just completely quit burning any of my candles and I have switched back over to incense. Five Below has like some of the most amazing incense and one of my favorite instant incense brands is Gonesh Sticks. And Five Below also has those like incense walls where you can pick, it's like four, they're way more expensive. It used to be 10 for a dollar, now they're four for a dollar. I got 12 of those and then I picked up a bunch of these Gonesh Sticks. I've got, I don't I think I've got six different scents in this one, but this is, this one is called Herbal Woods. And it says, improve anyone's outlook with a tranquil blend of white sage and musk. I don't know about white sage and musk. What I do know is this smells almost identical to Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy. In the packaging, when you burn it especially, when you start burning this, it smells identical to Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy, and I absolutely love it. This one, and then I've got one called Egypt, which is ugh, amazing. Um, I've got Palo Santo, which I absolutely adore. I've got one called Fresh Blossom, which is really nice. I've got the uh, lavender one. I've got Dragon's Blood. I just got a whole bunch of them because I like my house to smell good. You know, I like to burn something in my house, but yeah, I had to say no to the candles. So I'm back to incense. But yeah, if you have a Five Below near you or you go into Five Below ever and you want something that you can burn that smells like Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy, check out this Gonesh Sticks Herbal Woods. It's It was a fun little find for me. So anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna jump right into what I wore last week. So um, we're gonna talk about this one here. Gosh, I forget how much I absolutely adore this perfume. This is Alien Essence Absolute, and this is such an amazing perfume. I love this so much. This one, it smells just like Alien, just like the original Alien, but, but it's smoother, it has kind of a creaminess to it. I used to, when I, when I smell this out of the bottle, I get strong cola vibes from it. I, um, it really smells like a cola, like a really beautiful fizzy cola, but when you wear this, it's, it smells just like the original Alien, but it's so much more smooth. It's, ugh, it's just sweet and smooth, and you get that kind of weird jasmine because it doesn't smell like any other jasmine I've ever smelled. It's just beautiful. It's stunning. I absolutely love this one. Um, besides the original, this is, this is my favorite version of this. And for the longest time, like, because I was so sparing with this for the longest time, you couldn't even see. It looked like I barely had a dent in it at all, but now it's finally, like, you can finally see. You can definitely now finally see a little, a little gap in it. I've got a good little dent now. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ration this one as much as I, <laughs> as much as I want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to enjoy it. And then when it runs out, I'll find a clone of it. Um, I know Dua makes a clone. I've heard really good things about their clone. I need to, um, I need to pick it up. I need to do another Dua travel spray haul because I need to get their version of the original Miss Dior. Um, 
this as well as their version of hypnotic poison I just need to do some testing and so a lot of people are asking so yeah as well as midnight poison I just don't know if they um, sorry I'm super chatty today um, but I, I just am not sure if they carry those in the travel sprays is the only problem but anyways that is the first one that is alien essence absolute from Mugler such a stunner Okay, next I wore both of my Pascal Morabito Sultan perfume. So this is Sultan Noir and I absolutely love this. This is so beautiful. It's a sweet woody oud fragrance. It's kind of it's like kind of sort of similar to Hermes Ombre Nargile, but it doesn't have that kind of apple pie. Maybe just the slightest bit of like an apple pie kind of essence to it. It's mostly just a really beautiful, sweet, and I love it. It's kind of light, it's a little bit, maybe just the slightest bit smoky, but really sweet and beautiful, I love it. Alien Essence Absolute is an absolute beast. This is a 24 plus hour fragrance. You will smell like this until you wash it off. Um, this one, I get maybe about six hours out of it. Um, it doesn't perform as well as I thought it was going to because it's pretty, it's a pretty strong fragrance and when you first spray it on it's pretty strong but yeah I can only I only get about maybe six hours out of it which is totally fine that's perfectly acceptable for me but I just thought that this was going to be more of like a beast like my Latafa Ragba is or something like that and it's not it doesn't perform quite as well as those but still and it performs well enough that I'm happy with it. So anyways, that is Pascal Morabito uh, Sultan Noir. And then I wore this beauty. This is Pascal Morabito Sultan Or. And if I'm honest, this is my absolute favorite of the two. Ugh, it's a beautiful, like old school smelling floral. It really does. As soon as somebody pointed out that it smells like Lancome Poem, it absolutely does smell like Lancome Poem, like the original formulation. It's beautiful. If you like a kind of vintage -y, you know, kind of a 90s vintage leaning fragrance, I think you would love it. If you like Lancome Poem, like the original formulation from the 90s, I think you would love it. It's beautiful. It's just kind of like a sweet, dense, vintage -y floral. I absolutely adore this. This is a beast on me. I can get a good eight to ten hours out of it. It lasts forever and I love it. It's one of those perfumes that every time I wear this I just get so much joy from it because every time I move I smell it and I just adore it. It's such a beauty and it's such an affordable gem too. Such an affordable gem. You can find it I think for I think it's around $25 so just a good one. So anyways, that is Pascal Morabito Sultan Or. Okay, next I wore this beauty. This is Stella McCartney Stella Rose Absolute. It smells like the original formulation of Stella is what it smells like. It's such a beautiful, dark, almost like an, oil, this is gonna sound weird, but almost like an oily rose, like a dark, syrupy, kind of oily, ambery, rose. I absolutely love this fragrance. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I have so much in this bottle. I need to pull this out and start wearing it more. Um, it's one that I've had this for a couple years now and I've been rationing it and I don't need to because number one you don't have to wear that much like you don't have to spray that much on because it's the original formulation which is a beast of a fragrance and I need to just enjoy the things that I have. Absolutely, because there is always going to be, you know, there are always going to be perfumes out there for me to enjoy and love. And yes, I will be sad when it's gone, but I will have enjoyed it and loved every second of it. And I do. I absolutely adore Stella. I do keep this in its box. This is a tester bottle too. And yeah, I do keep it in its box just to keep it nice and protected. Gosh, it's amazing. It's amazing. I paid, I don't I paid something ridiculous for this bottle. Um, it was a lot. I paid a lot for it, but I'm happy to have it. So anyways, that is Stella McCartney, Stella Rose Absolute. Next, I wore a beautiful white musk combination. So I wore my Riddle Oil. This is the original scented body oil. I absolutely love it. This oil, this scented oil, is fragrant 
all day. Like you're gonna smell this on your skin until you wash it off. I could smell this oil on my skin until I took a shower the next day. And then my clothes, like when I went to wash the clothes that I had been wearing when I was wearing this and I you know, picked them up to put them in the laundry, my clothes even still smelled like this oil. So it's so good. And it's just this beautiful white musk and amber combination. It's so comforting and cozy and clean and sweet and skin-like and it's a perfect fragrance. If I were going to have a signature scent, I think that it would be one of these kind of white musk and amber combinations. They're just so pleasant and they're, oh, they're just gorgeous. I love this, this is a glass bottle. Um, and I just love it. I love Riddle oils. They are amazing, so good, such good quality, and yeah, this is so good. I need to, next I'm gonna use the sprayable lotion. I still have not used the sprayable lotion yet. This is an amazing oil though. It sinks right into your skin, but you feel moisturized all day. It's not something, it's not an oil that's gonna sit on your skin though. It sinks right in. It's incredibly moisturizing and you will feel moisturized all day it's so good so I have no idea I'm I don't know where any of my stuff is so I wasn't able to find my actual riddle oil I think it's on top of my dresser but I'm not totally sure but I wasn't able to find the actual original riddle oil that went with it so I just layered my Lake and Sky 1111 over it um, they're very similar scents yes they're very very similar very similar scents. The Lake and Sky 1111 is just a slight bit warmer, I think, but together it was an amazing combination. I mean, they're so, so similar, so it was kind of like a no-brainer. And uh, they're, it's, they're just so good. They're both just such good fragrances. The Riddle Oil Original and the Lake and Sky 1111 are just some of my favorite fragrances on the planet. If I had a signature, this is what I would want to smell like all the time. This is the smell that I would want associated with me because it's so, so good. So yeah, that is a combination that lasted until I took a shower and washed it off. Um, both of them are absolute beasts, especially this Lake and Sky 1111 oil is a beast. It will last for hours. Um, the spray formulation does not la it doesn't perform as well as the oil. So if you look into this one, I would definitely look into picking up the oil over the spray. But such an amazing fragrance, both of them. The Riddle Original and 1111 are just amazing fragrances. Okay, and then I wore three of the new genre fragrances that were just sent over to me. So I wore the Creme de la Creme, which is a clone of Ely Saab, um, Amand, and Tonka. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of my Eclat Damans from Comptoir Sud Pacifique but this is a little bit smoother. The Comptoir Sud Pacifique ha it actually has a cinnamon note in it, if I remember correctly, and it is it is a very strong, um, it is pretty strong on the cinnamon, which I adore. This just kind of gives you the impression of cinnamon. It doesn't have cinnamon in it, I don't believe, but you kind of get that warmth, that feeling of cinnamon. I love it. It's a beautiful powdered almond and tonka fragrance. Um, two of my most favorite notes in perfumery, so this is right up my alley. I love it. I will be purchasing a full bottle of this um, at some point. I feel like I didn't see it on their Etsy page when I went, when I looked last time, but it's one that I will definitely be picking up a full bottle of. I absolutely love it. So that is um, Genre Parfums Creme de la Creme. And then I wore the Pomelisius. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong, but Pomelisius, which is, um, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is a combination of Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir and Dior Feb Delicious, or Feb Delicious. 
Is that right? I feel like I'm not saying it right now. Gorgeous, it's beautiful. It smells like that beautiful kind of dry Tonka Fev, but with the kind of juicy pomegranate from the Joe Malone. It's beautiful. It leans just a touch masculine, but not so much that I would be uncomfortable wearing it. It's gorgeous. Um, the Amon Tonka, this one is just kind of by nature um, a lighter fragrance. I don't get a ton of time out of this. I need to try layering this over some lotion, and I have a beautiful Almond Blossom lotion from Bath & Body Works. I'm gonna try layering this over to see if I can get a little bit more time out of it. Um, this one, I think I got maybe four hours or so, so this one definitely lasted longer. Um, I feel like after four hours, I would have probably wanted to reapply it, which again, for me is completely fine. And then the third one that I wore is Sweet Suede. And uh, Sweet Suede is, I already forget what Sweet Suede is, a clone of, and I don't have my card near me. I'll put it on the screen for you. It's beautiful. It's sweet, yummy. I. It smells like, it smells like a sweet, edible caramel fragrance, but with a really beautiful like suede note in the base. Ugh, it's really pretty. I love this. This one lasted the longest out of all of them. This one I think I got about six hours out of, so this one definitely performs pretty well for me. So anyways, that one is Sweet Suede. And then last but not least, I wore this here. This is my YSL Manifesto fragrance. Um, this is my newest bottle. I pulled this one out because I just haven't, I haven't worn this one much and I just wanted to pull this one out and, you know, give it some love, get it going a little bit. These perfumes age beautifully, so that's why I wanted to pull it out and start using it because I want it to start aging because as it ages, it gets better and better. I absolutely love this fragrance. Vanilla and Tonka, it's got some flowers in the middle. I think it's got some jasmine. It's beautiful. It's like, it's sweet and cozy and comforting and one of my most favorite fragrances on the planet. This, um, the original Manifesto, my old bottle that's gotten really, really dark from age, that one performs really well. I can get, I don't know, six, eight hours out of that one. This one I only got maybe four hours out of because again, it does need to sit and age, and I think as it ages, it will start to perform better. So anyways, that is why I sell Manifesto. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.